Your body makes a powerful molecule every second of every day. Right now, as you read this, millions of your cells are producing it. This molecule protects your DNA, fights off toxins, and keeps your cells running smoothly. It's working in your brain, your liver, your heart, and every other organ. But here's the problem. After age 40, your body makes less and less of it every year. By age 60, you may have only half the levels you had in your youth. The decline is gradual, silent, and affects how well your cells protect themselves from daily damage. Most people don't even know this molecule exists. Doctors rarely mention it during checkups. Yet emergency rooms use a specific supplement to boost this molecule when someone's life is on the line. Paramedics carry it. Intensive care units stock it. It's considered essential medicine. That supplement is called NAC, N-acetylcysteine. Hospitals have trusted it for over 50 years. The FDA approved it decades ago. Research institutions worldwide have published thousands of studies on it. And today, we're going to explore what happens when you take NAC for 30 days based on scientific evidence and clinical experience. Before we go further, if this is your first time here, welcome to our health community. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss evidence-based health information that could change your life. Drop a comment below telling us which country you're watching from. We love hearing from our global audience, and your engagement helps us reach more people who need this information. NAC stands for N-acetylcysteine. To understand why it matters, we need to talk about what happens inside your cells right now. Every cell in your body contains a substance called glutathione. Scientists call it the master antioxidant because it's your most important cellular defense system. Glutathione lives inside your cells, exactly where your body makes energy, builds proteins, and repairs damage. Here's the challenge. Your body needs a specific amino acid to make glutathione. That amino acid is cysteine. Without enough cysteine, glutathione production stops. Think of it like trying to bake bread without yeast. You can have all the other ingredients ready, but without that one critical component, nothing happens. Cysteine exists in foods like chicken, eggs, and dairy. So why would anyone need a supplement? Because raw cysteine is extremely unstable. The moment it enters your digestive system, it starts breaking down and oxidizing. By the time it reaches your cells, very little remains usable. That's where NAC comes in. The acetyl part protects the cysteine molecule during digestion. It's like putting armor around something fragile so it survives the journey. Once NAC reaches your cells, your body removes the protective acetyl group and uses the cysteine to make glutathione. The FDA approved NAC for two main purposes. First, it treats acetaminophen poisoning. When someone overdoses on Tylenol or similar pain relievers, their liver rapidly depletes glutathione. Without intervention, liver failure can occur within days. Emergency room doctors give NAC intravenously because it works. It's nearly 100% effective when given within 8 hours of overdose. Second, the FDA approved NAC as a mucolytic agent. That means it breaks down thick mucus in the lungs. People with chronic lung conditions, cystic fibrosis, or severe respiratory infections receive NAC to help them breathe easier. These aren't experimental uses. These are standard medical treatments backed by decades of clinical experience. Inside your cells, glutathione performs hundreds of critical tasks every second. It neutralizes free radicals, unstable molecules that damage cell membranes, proteins, and DNA. It supports your immune system by helping white blood cells function properly. It assists in removing toxins that your liver processes daily. Your cells contain several different antioxidant systems, but glutathione is the most abundant.
When researchers measure oxidative stress in cells, they primarily look at glutathione levels. When glutathione drops, cells become vulnerable to damage. Making glutathione requires three amino acids, cysteine, glycine, and glutamic acid. Your body usually has plenty of glycine and glutamic acid. The limiting factor, the ingredient that's typically in short supply, is cysteine. Research published in peer-reviewed journals confirms that cysteine availability determines how much glutathione your cells can produce. When you increase cysteine, glutathione production increases. When cysteine runs low, glutathione levels drop. But here's what many people don't understand. Most dietary cysteine never reaches the cells that need it most. Your intestinal lining has an enormous turnover rate. The cells lining your digestive tract replace themselves every few days. This constant renewal requires massive amounts of amino acids, including cysteine. So your gut uses much of the cysteine from food just to maintain itself. The remaining cysteine gets oxidized into a form called cystin, which your body can can still use but much less efficiently. By the time cysteine reaches your brain, heart, and other organs, only a small fraction remains available for glutathione production. NAC bypasses this problem. Because the acetyl group protects it, NAC survives digestion and reaches cells throughout your body intact. Once inside cells, Enzymes remove the acetyl group, leaving pure cysteine ready to become glutathione. Let's walk through what research suggests happens when you supplement with NAC consistently for one month. Week 1, liver support begins. Your liver performs over 500 different functions. One critical job is detoxification breaking down everything from medications to environmental toxins to hormones that have done their job. This detoxification happens in two phases. Phase 1 breaks down substances into intermediate compounds. Phase 2 attaches molecules to these intermediates, making them water-soluble so your body can eliminate them. NAC specifically supports Phase 2 detoxification. Studies show that adequate glutathione levels help your liver process toxins more efficiently. When detoxification works better, fewer inflammatory compounds build up in your system. Many people report improved digestion during the first week. This makes sense biochemically. When your liver processes toxins more efficiently, less inflammatory material spills over into your bloodstream and digestive tract. Week 2. Respiratory Benefits NAC breaks chemical bonds in mucus. Mucus contains proteins linked together by sulfur bonds called disulfide bridges. These bridges make mucus thick and sticky. NAC contains sulfur that can break these bridges, thinning the mucus. People with chronic sinus issues, seasonal allergies, or respiratory sensitivity often notice easier breathing during week two. This isn't just placebo. It's the direct mucolytic effect that hospitals use NAC for. Week 3. Energy and Recovery Your mitochondria, the power plants inside cells, produce energy through a process that generates oxidated stress. It's unavoidable. Burning fuel creates exhaust. Glutathione helps manage this oxidative stress inside mitochondria. When mitochondria have adequate glutathione protection, they produce energy more efficiently with less cellular damage. Research shows that NAC supplementation can improve exercise recovery and reduce fatigue in some individuals. The mechanism involves better mitochondrial function and reduced oxidative damage during physical stress. Week 4. Neurological Effects Your brain uses neurotransmitters, chemical messengers that control mood, focus, and sleep. Making neurotransmitters and breaking them down when they're no longer needed requires specific biochemical processes. NAC influences neurotransmitter systems in several ways. It affects glutamate regulation. Glutamate is your brain's primary excitatory neurotransmitter. Too much glutamate overstimulates brain cells. 
too little impairs communication between neurons. Some research suggests NAC helps balance glutamate levels. Additionally, the methylation processes involved in making and breaking down neurotransmitters depend on adequate glutathione availability. People often report clearer thinking and better sleep quality by week four. The mechanisms aren't fully understood, but likely involve improved cellular function throughout the nervous system. Here's something critical that affects a large portion of the population, a gene called MTHFR. MTHFR provides instructions for making an enzyme with a very long name, methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. This enzyme is essential for processing folate, vitamin B9, and for recycling homocysteine back into useful amino acids. The most common variant of this gene is called C677T. According to the CDC, more Americans have at least one copy of this variant than those who don't. This isn't a rare genetic condition, it's incredibly common. Some ethnic groups show even higher rate. Among people of Hispanic descent, up to 47% carry this variant. In certain Asian populations, the rate approaches 43%. You inherit one MTHFR gene from each parent. If you have one variant copy, you're heterozygous. Two variant copies make you homozygous. The homozygous state has more significant effects on enzyme function, reducing activity by up to 60% compared to normal. When you have this gene variant, especially two copies, your body doesn't process folate as efficiently. This creates a ripple effect throughout multiple biochemical pathways. It affects several important processes. First, it affects methylation, the process of adding small chemical groups to molecules to turn various systems on and off. Your body performs methylation billions of times per second. It's how you control gene expression, make neurotransmitters, detoxify hormones, process heavy metals, and regulate inflammation throughout your body. Second, it affects homocysteine levels. Homocysteine is an intermediate compound your liver produces during normal metabolism. Your body should quickly recycle it back into useful substances, but if you have MTHFR variants and inadequate folate or B12, homocysteine can build up in your bloodstream. Elevated homocysteine has been studied extensively in relation to cardiovascular health. While some research suggested it might be an independent risk factor for heart disease, more recent large-scale studies showed the relationship is complex and influenced by many other factors. Third, and this is critical for NAC supplementation, MTHFR variants affect your body's ability to make and recycle glutathione efficiently. The methylation process is directly involved in glutathione metabolism. Without adequate methylation capacity, even if you have plenty of cysteine from NAC, your body may struggle to complete the full glutathione cycle. If you have MTHFR variants, taking NAC alone might not be enough. You may also benefit from methylated forms of B vitamins, methylfolate and methylcobalamin, to support the full biochemical pathway. This is why comprehensive formulations that include both NAC and activated B vitamins may provide better results for people with these common genetic variants. Common supplementation doses range from 600 to 1800 milligrams per day, typically divided into two or three doses. Some clinical studies have used up to 3000 milligrams daily. Higher doses, 600 milligrams or more, are appropriate for short-term therapeutic use when you're dealing with acute oxidative stress, supporting recovery from illness, or addressing specific health concerns under medical supervision. The key principle is supporting your body's natural processes without overwhelming them. Your body has sophisticated feedback systems. More isn't always better, especially with antioxidants. One thing to know about quality NAC supplements, they have a distinctive sulfur smell. This is normal and indicates the supplement contains active protected cysteine. If your NAC supplement has no smell at all, it may have degraded or been processed in ways that reduce its effectiveness. When you open the bottle, you'll notice the smell. 
Once you swallow the capsule, you won't taste it. The smell is simply a sign that the sulfur groups are intact and protected. NAC has been studied extensively and has a well-established safety profile when used appropriately. However, some people should exercise caution. If you have asthma, NAC can sometimes trigger bronchospasms when inhaled. If you take it orally and have asthma, monitor your symptoms carefully. If you take blood thinning medications, NAC may slow blood clotting. Discuss supplementation with your healthcare provider. If you take nitroglycerin, combining it with NAC can cause severe headaches and dangerously low blood pressure. Some people experience mild digestive upset, especially at higher doses. Taking NAC with food often helps. There's also a small group of people who are sensitive to methylation support. Even though your body needs methylation to function, adding methyl donors from supplements can cause uncomfortable reactions in some individuals. If you experience unusual symptoms, discontinue use and consult a healthcare provider. Your body produces glutathione for a reason. It's your primary cellular defense against oxidative damage, toxins, and inflammation. As you age, glutathione production naturally declines. Environmental factors, stress, and poor diet can deplete it further. NAC provides your body with the rate-limiting ingredient needed to make more glutathione. It's not a magic pill. It won't cure diseases or replace healthy lifestyle choices, but for many people, it offers valuable support for natural cellular defenses. After 30 days of consistent NAC supplementation at appropriate doses, research and clinical experience suggest you may notice improved energy and recovery, better respiratory function, enhanced detoxification, clearer thinking, more resilient stress response. Remember that individual responses vary. What works for one person may work differently for another. Genetics, particularly MTHFR status, can significantly affect how well you utilize NAC and whether you need additional methylation support. If this information helped you understand NAC better, please share this video with someone who might benefit, a parent, friend, or family member concerned about aging, energy, or chronic health issues. Type yes in the comments if you discovered something new today, and tell us, are you currently taking NAC, or are you considering it? We read every comment. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. We're committed to bringing you evidence-based health information backed by real science, not marketing hype. Your health is your most valuable asset. Take care of it wisely.